Hey, it's Walt K4 OGO. I'm here in my hometown, Portsmouth, Virginia, in the harbor. And today I'm going to make a quarter wave ground plane vertical antenna. I'm often asked, hey, what is your favorite antenna when operating portable? And that's a really hard question to answer because um, uh, there's a lot of antennas that I really like. This one, though, is really cheap, easy, quick to deploy, and I've had some amazing success with it. So I'm going to show you how I do it. Stick around. So here's what I'm using today. Pretty simple stuff. This is new, just got it. It's similar to some of the other ones I have. It is a 7.2 meter pole. It's just called a breeze fishing rod. Got that on Amazon, I think 39 bucks. This is something new also. This is a beach umbrella support you put you put it in the ground i'm actually on grass here not sand but a, a lot of people have been telling me about this and um i, I found one at a big lot store it's a chain that we have here in the states uh eight dollars and 99 cent i have 16 foot five inch piece of 16 gauge speaker wire i buy that by the roll at walmart here in the states for 16.99 a roll banana clip got that on Amazon, I think you get a pack of three for like nine dollars. Um, have a pretty short, I think that's about 15 foot coax. Um, I'm going to be using my G90, so I got the connectors all straight for that. A roll of just old electrical tape. I'll use the electrical tape and tape the wire to the pole. And then here in the water, I'm just going to use my one bare copper uh counterpoise i think it's about 20 feet long i'll drop it down into the water with uh, what you've been seeing floating around there that's a little float just to keep a little bit of it up above the water so i'll use that i have built this antenna right here actually uh in a snowstorm right after a snow over on the ground and with that i used four 16 foot five inch counterpoise so if you're not by the sea or by the water and take advantage of just the one counterpoise and the salt water as a uh, ground plane I highly recommend building this anywhere you want when with four counterpoise or more more the better but i use them at a length of 16 foot five inch a lot of people say it doesn't matter lengthwise when you uh put them down if, if you're on the ground that's just what i've done did it in poland and actually had cusos across the atlantic back here to the states with that setup but um today we're going right there to put the counterpoise into the water and see if we can make some contacts it's the city of Norfolk, Virginia, right across the water from me. This is my marina here, right where I live at. I don't live in the marina. I live across the street here from the marina, but that's it. So uh, let's put this thing together and uh, let's see what we can do. Okay, so here's the quick and easy setup. I'm here on the seawall here. This is a uh, seawall here in Portsmouth. Using the, uh, the umbrella anchor is nice because it's got a tightening threaded support there. There is the banana clip with the coax. There's the wire. I taped the wire with electrical tape to the pole, three or four feet. Got some wet here. It's going to be a windy day, so if the audio is a little troublesome, I apologize ahead of time. There's my one counterpoise going down into the harbor here. Salinity here is really high. This goes right out to the Chesapeake Bay and the Atlantic Ocean. Um, today I'll be using. It's like a G90. I've been looking and playing with so many other small QRP rigs, I've neglected this. And you know what? This is the best radio I own. I'll go on record right now and saying it. It's an awesome radio. Uh, 12 volt, 6 amp hour light pro battery. Got my iPad to log with. Let's fire this bad boy up. And let's see if we can make some contacts with it here. It's getting uh, a little late in the afternoon, almost the evening. We're going to approach the gray line in a little while. If this weather holds up, you can see those clouds. Uh, we'll see if we can make us some contacts. Stick around. AQ20 from Norway 1 Delta Radios here and 1 DRS Massachusetts. Kilo 4 Oscar, Golf Oscar. Uh, kilo 4, was it Golf Oscar you said? Uh, kilo 4 Oscar, Golf Oscar. Okay, Kilo 4 Oscar, Golf Oscar. Uh, Hello, Walter. How are you, sir? Beautiful 5-9 signal into Massachusetts. Name is David. 
Uh, how you doing, David? Beautiful 5.9 signal into the port of Norfolk and Portsmouth, Virginia. I'm portable out by the seawall here with uh, a uh, quarter wave antenna up in the skies, just a little uh, speaker wire I've got on a pole with uh, one counterpoise into the river here, into the harbor, and uh, you are coming in loud and clear with strong signal. Okay, uh, Walter, here you go. With uh, one counterpoise into the river here, into the harbor, and uh, you are coming in loud and clear. Well, strong. It sounds like you're in the room with me there, Walter, are we? Hey, thanks for doing that. It was good to hear myself. That's uh, that's pretty amazing. That's awesome. And the, the good thing is I'm only running 20 watts. Oh, man. Yeah, you're doing all the work here. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. Note. Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. Roger, Roger, you're five nine into Norfolk, Virginia. Seven three. Kilo four, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Uh, kilo four, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Thank you for the call. Yeah, nice to see you again, Walt. My name is Dave, West Coast of Florida. Over. Hey, Roger, Roger, Dave. I'm portable, 20 watts with just a uh, speaker wire in the air, a quarter wave length of uh, speaker wire up in the air, portable down on the harbor here in Norfolk, Virginia. Okay. Well, congratulations. Uh, 20 watts of the wire there down in the harbor. You're doing a great job. You're about a five and nine, over. Oh, good. Good to hear that. Thank you. You're five nine. I mean, you sound like you're next door. Really good, strong signal here tonight. Yeah, really good. Yeah, it's interesting propagation tonight. Uh, here's uh, some short skip, just you know, several hundred miles away, and then you uh, have about 800 miles, and then over into Europe too. So everything is good, I guess. Over. Hey, Roger that. Yeah, I started off with a little uh, short skip right up to Massachusetts. That's kind of on 20. Uh, I don't really get there that often. And then uh, down to French Guiana, and then you. So uh, yeah, the band's a little strange, but uh, hey, I'll take it. Yeah. Sometimes strange is good. <laughs> anyway, thank you. Good to see you again. I'll look for you again uh, sooner, Roger. 73, K4OGO, K502. Hey, thanks for the call. Thanks for taking the call. 73. Wow. 20 meters is like the weirdest band tonight. It was like, when I first got on for the first few minutes, it was gangbusters. It's like flat line right now, and uh, it's not the antenna. I can get like one or two guys in here or there, but uh, you can hear it. I can hear some electricity, some QRN, a uh, little noise. Must be, uh, as you can see, the clouds are coming in on me, but uh, I've been watching the weather. I think I'm okay, but uh, around me is bad weather, so uh, this may be a little bit of a, a little bit of an issue here. Let's, we'll see what happens, and, and uh, I'll make a call. Alpha Charlie 9, Hotel Papa, got you that time. The QSB brought you back up there. 5757 five, into the port of uh, Norfolk, Virginia. Norfolk, Portsmouth, Virginia. I'm 20 watts portable with a vertical on the seawall here. Uh, wonderful, wonderful. You're a 5'9", Awesome. Thanks for the 5-9 uh, into Indianapolis. That's great. Thanks. Uh, I think the band's a little wonky because you're, you're up and down a little bit. You're like about a 5-7 that time. Well, there you go. Simple, quick, and easy and cheap. I mean, you could build one of these for $30, $40 tops, and you may even have most of this stuff hanging around the house and you don't need to go out and buy it it's a really easy antenna to build i love this antenna and you don't have to be by the sea uh to use this thing i've used it in a backyard in poland and had uh great dx contacts back here to the states with it with 20 watts and uh i just used uh the quarter wavelength uh radials on the ground it worked great anyway um as you can see it's starting to cloud up here a little bit and i've heard the rumbling of some thunder so i'm going to get out of here thanks for watching the video i appreciate it and thanks for supporting the channel i appreciate it that more than you would ever know until next time i'm walt k4 ogo 73 my friends well there you go simple I like simple. That's a simple antenna to build. The hardest part about that antenna is measuring it when you're cutting the wire. Other than that, it's just put it together. And um, hey, it uh, goes up in two or three minutes. And we'll kill this fly.